It's been called the new oil that powers the global economy. But big data, unlike other prized commodities, is still not being used and exchanged widely by local companies. This has prompted the government to announce the Data Innovation Program Office to promote greater data exchange between firms. But what makes data sharing so complex and challenging? Lok Hock Fai explores the issue in this week's Spotlight. Diabetes is a numbers game for Nawal Roy. His company's product, Glycoly, tackles the disease using analytics. It collects information on what users eat and how much they exercise, then gives suggestions to help them make better lifestyle decisions. But the expertise was not built by his company alone. It worked with the university to acquire anonymized data from 32 hospitals in the United States and local data by partnering healthcare provider SingHealth. It's one of the few companies in Singapore that shares data with other parties. And Mr Roy says such collaboration is key to building a more effective healthcare sector. It has to be at a B2B level. The government can be only an initial facilitator or setting a perspective or setting a regulation by which uh, this behaviour can happen. But if the market is dominated or multiplayer, and hence there is an advantage for each player to literally contribute, but also, you know, in exchange, get information that they don't have. Much like how financial data can be aggregated, expressed and used in the form of indices, Mr. Roy believes that the same can be done for healthcare and other sectors, stripping data of identifying information while remaining useful for many users. But according to one analyst, many firms still hesitate to do so, out of concern over the competition and whether there are any tangible benefits in return for sharing. 